in this lecture we are going to study classification of partial differential equation of second order and the equations will be classified in elliptic parabolic and hyperbolic equations the general form of the equation is given here in this general form we need capital r which is a coefficient of small r capital s which is a coefficient of small s and capital t which is a coefficient of small t and s square minus 4t will decide the nature if it is greater than 0 then it is hyperbolic if equal to 0 then parabolic and less than 0 it is elliptic i have collected few questions and these are the question let us solve these questions so today we are discussing classification of partial differential equation of second order where it is it is classified in elliptic hyperbolic and parabolic equations so it is one of the most important topic of partial differential equation and the most general form of a pde having two independent variables say x and y is given by capital r small r and capital s small s plus capital t small t and then a function of x y z pq now students here capital r capital s and capital t these are functions of x and y which is defined and the partial derivative which is defined under in a domain say d on xy plane now what are small r small s and small t r small r small s and small t is del to u del x square small s is del to u del x del y and small t is del to u del y square now we categorize we classify the equation on the basis of whether s square minus 4 rt is greater than less than or equal to 0 so if it is greater than 0 then it is hyperbolic and if s square minus 4 rt is equal to 0 then it is parabolic if s square minus 4 rt is less than 0 then it is elliptic and obviously it should be defined in a domain say d now we'll discuss those questions which we wrote in the ppt so question number 1 which we wrote is <coughs> question number 1 was twice del to u del x square plus 4 times del to u del x del y plus 3 times del to u del y square is equal to 2 let us rewrite this equation so on rewriting it we get 2r plus 4s plus 3t is equal to 2 so this can be rewritten as 2r plus 4s plus 3t minus 2 is equal to 0 what are the values of capital r capital s and capital t in this particular equation let us write that capital r is 2 s is 4 and capital 2 t is 3 now we'll find the value of s square minus 4 rt s square is 4 square minus 4 into 2 into 3 
So this is equal to 16 minus 24, which is equal to minus 8 and which is less than 0. So this shows that the given equation is an elliptic equation at all points. Now we move to question number 2. In question number 2, which is written in the PPT, we have del 2 u del x square plus 4 times del 2 u del x del y plus 4 times del 2 u del y square is equal to 0. So, in this case, when we rewrite the equation, it is r plus 4s plus 4t is equal to 0. Now, what are the values of capital R, capital S and capital T in this particular question? Capital R is 1, capital S is 4 and capital T is also 4. So, in this way, when we find the value of s square minus 4rt, what will be the value? It will be 4 square minus 4 times into 1 into 4. So, the answer is 0. So, this shows that this particular equation is a parabolic equation. So, it is parabolic at all points. Now, we are moving to question number 3. And our question number 3 was x y r minus x square minus y square s minus x y t plus p y minus q x is equal to twice x square minus y square. So, uh, we directly jump to capital R, capital S and capital T. Capital R in this case is xy, capital S is minus x square minus y square and capital T is minus xy. Let us find the value of s square minus 4rt. So, it is x square minus y square whole square minus 4 times xy minus xy. So, this is equal to x square minus y square whole square plus 4 x square y square which is equal to x square plus y square whole square. Since this is a perfect square, this is always greater than 0 showing that the given equation is a hyperbolic equation. So, this is a hyperbolic equation. So, we are moving to question number fourth. Question number four and fourth is x square y minus 1 r minus x y square minus 1 s plus y y minus 1 t plus x y p minus q is equal to 0. So, in this question, what are the values of capital R, capital S and capital T? <coughs> capital R is x square y minus 1, capital S is minus x y square minus 1 and capital T is y y minus 1. Let us find the value of s square minus 4rt. We have minus x y square minus 1 whole square minus 4 x square y minus 1 multiplied by y y minus 1. So, this is equal to x square y minus 1 square and y plus 1 square. Here, I had used the formula of a square minus b square is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. 
So here I use which formula? A, the formula of a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. I'd use this formula of a plus b multiplied by a minus b. And the second term will be minus 4 x square y y minus 1 whole square. Now let us solve this. We have x square term common and 1 term y minus 1 whole square common. We have y plus 1 whole square common here minus 4y which is equal to x square y minus 1 whole square and this is basically y minus 1 whole square. So this is x y minus 1 whole square. So this is a perfect square and always greater than 0. So we can conclude that it is a hyperbolic function. There are two more questions in the PPTs, question number 5 and question number 6. Let us do these two, these two questions as an exercise and you will find the answer as hyperbolic. What you have to do is you have to just find the value of s square minus 4rt. You have to find the value of this s square minus 4rt and apply it. If you are unable to solve any of the question, write it in the 